your car might be running fine. Until one day, it isn't. The idle turns rough, the throttle feels lazy, and your fuel economy drops off a cliff. You start wondering, do I need new plugs? Maybe the injectors are dirty. Could it be the fuel pump? But here's the thing. It might not be any of that. The real culprit could be one small forgotten part. The Mass Air Flow Sensor, or MAF for short. It's a tiny sensor with a big job, measuring how much air your engine breathes. So the computer knows exactly how much fuel to add. But when it gets dirty, the readings go off and your engine starts running like it's half asleep. The good news, you can fix it yourself in under 15 minutes. One can of cleaner, no special tools. Today, you'll learn how to clean your mass airflow sensor correctly, safely, effectively, and without wrecking anything. Welcome to Motor Minds, the channel where real drivers, real owners, and real enthusiasts get straight up automotive wisdom. If you're new, hit subscribe. Your support helps us grow the channel and keep bringing you real useful car tips every week. All right, let's get your engine breathing properly again. What the MAF sensor actually does? Let's start with the basics. Your mass air flow sensor is the engine's air accountant. It measures how much air is flowing into the intake system and tells the ECU, the car's computer, how much fuel to inject. More air, more fuel, Less air, less fuel, simple idea. But here's the problem. Over time, the tiny sensing wires or film inside the MAF get coated with dust, oil vapor, and microscopic debris. That buildup messes with the readings and the ECU starts making bad decisions. The results, rough idle, hesitation when accelerating, worse fuel mileage, sometimes even a check engine light, and all because the sensor's dirty, not broken, just dirty. That's why cleaning it is one of the easiest, most cost-effective ways to bring back lost performance. Tools and materials you'll need. Before diving under the hood, grab a few simple things. You won't need a workshop full of tools for this one. Here's your checklist. Mass Air Flow Sensor Cleaner. Not brake cleaner. Not carb cleaner. Not WD-40. You need a dedicated MAF cleaner. It's specially formulated to evaporate cleanly without leaving residue or damaging delicate components. Screwdriver or socket set. Most sensors are held in with small Phillips screws or eight millimeter bolts. Gloves, optional but smart, keeps the solvent off your skin. A clean towel or paper towel, just to set the sensor down safely once you remove it. And that's it. You don't need brushes, air compressors, or fancy tools. If you can open your hood, you can do this job. Before you start, make sure the engine is off and cool. Disconnect the negative battery terminal if you want to be extra cautious. Locating the MAF sensor. Pop the hood and follow your air intake. Start at the air filter box. That's the big plastic housing that holds your air filter. Then follow the intake tubing toward the engine throttle body. Somewhere between those two, you'll see a small sensor with an electrical connector and usually two screws holding it in. That's your MAF sensor. If you're working on an SUV or truck, it might be a little further downstream in the intake tube. On smaller sedans, it's often mounted right on top of the airbox itself. Once you spot it, give the connector a look. You'll see a locking tab. Don't force it. Press down gently and slide the plug off. Removing the MAF sensor. Now that you've found it, let's remove it carefully. Step one, disconnect the electrical connector. Push the tab, don't pull the wire hard. These clips get brittle over time and the last thing you want is to break one. Step two, unscrew the sensor. Most use two small screws or bolts. Set them aside somewhere safe. They're easy to drop into the engine bay. Once that's done, Gently pull the sensor straight out. It should slide free without much effort. Don't twist it like a light bulb and definitely don't pry it out with a screwdriver. The plastic housing can crack easily. Lay it on your towel, connector side up. Now take a look inside. You'll see a couple of tiny metal wires or sensing elements. That's the heart of the MAF. They're incredibly sensitive. Even a fingerprint can throw them off. So from here on out, hands off the sensing wires. 
you'll let the cleaner do the work. Cleaning the MAF sensor. Grab your can of MAF sensor cleaner, shake it lightly, and hold the sensor steady. Spray short burst directly onto the sensing elements. You don't need to flood it. Just give it a few good sprays from different angles to make sure every surface is clean. About five to 10 sprays total is plenty. Don't use compressed air to dry it and don't touch it with anything, not even a Q-tip. Just let it air dry naturally for about 10 to 15 minutes. During that time, take a look at the rest of your intake system. Pull the air filter. If it's dirty, replace it. Check the air box for debris or dust buildup. Make sure the intake hose connections are snug and there are no cracks. A clean MF doesn't mean much if it's just gonna get dirty again from a leaky intake or old filter. Reinstalling the MAF sensor. Once the sensor is completely dry, reinstall it the same way it came out. Slide it gently into place, line up the holes, and tighten the screws evenly. You don't need to crank them down. Snug is enough. Then reconnect the electrical plug until you hear that click. If you disconnected the battery earlier, go ahead and hook it back up. That's it. The physical part of the job is done. Starting up and checking results. Now for the moment of truth. Start your engine. At first, you might notice a slightly rough idle for a few seconds. That's normal. The ECU is recalibrating its airflow data after getting clean readings again. Within a minute or two, the idle should smooth out. Take it for a short drive. You'll often notice quicker throttle response, smoother acceleration, more stable idle, and in some cases, slightly better fuel mileage. If your check engine light was on for a MAF-related code, it might clear itself after a few drive cycles. If not, you can reset it with a basic OBD2 scanner. Common mistakes to avoid. Here's where people mess up. Mistake number one, using the wrong cleaner. Brake cleaner or carb cleaner might seem fine, but they can leave residue or even damage the MAF's coating. Always use a dedicated MAF cleaner. It's cheap insurance. Mistake number two, cleaning a hot sensor. If you just drove the car, the sensor's probably hot. Spraying cold cleaner on it can cause thermal shock and snap those tiny wires. Let it cool for at least 20, 30 minutes before cleaning. Mistake number three, touching the sensor elements. They're as fragile as they look. Don't poke them, wipe them, or try to help them dry. Mistake number four, spraying cleaner into the intake hose instead of removing the sensor. That doesn't work. You'll just coat your intake and possibly damage the throttle body. Mistake number five, forgetting to check the air filter. A dirty air filter sends dirt straight to the MAF. Clean or replace it at the same time. Avoid these and you'll be fine. When cleaning isn't enough, sometimes cleaning the MAF doesn't fix the issue. And that's when you might have a failing sensor. Here's a quick test you can do. With the engine idling, unplug the MAF sensor. If the idle immediately changes or stalls, the MAF is working. The ECU notices its absence. If nothing changes or if the engine actually runs better without it, your MAF might be faulty. They're generally easy to replace. Two bolts, one connector, done. But always try cleaning first. In most cases, it solves the problem. How often should you clean it? There's no hard rule, but a good guideline is once every 12 to 18 months. If you drive in dusty, humid, or coastal environments, or use an oiled aftermarket air filter, you might want to do it more often. Otherwise, just make it part of your annual maintenance routine. Think of it like changing your cabin air filter. Not urgent, but definitely worth doing before problems start. The real world payoff. Cleaning your MAF sensor isn't glamorous. It's not like installing a new exhaust or tuning your ECU, but it's one of those small jobs that makes a big difference in how your car feels. It restores responsiveness, smooths out idle, and keeps your fuel trims balanced. You might not gain horsepower, but you'll get back the efficiency and smoothness your car was designed for. It's also one of the simplest ways to rule out common drivability issues before chasing bigger, costlier problems. So if your car's feeling a bit tired lately, don't overlook the MF. It's a five minute fix that can save you hours of frustration later. Quick recap. All right, quick recap. Let's sum it up. 
Why should you clean your MAF sensor? It helps restore the proper air-to-fuel ratio. It improves idle and throttle response. It boosts your fuel economy, and it can even prevent those false error codes that waste your time. Here's what you need. A can of MAF cleaner, a screwdriver or socket, and about 10 to 15 minutes of your time. The steps are simple. Locate and disconnect the sensor. Remove it carefully. Spray it with MAF cleaner. No touching, no wiping. Let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes, then reinstall it and reconnect the plug. And that's all there is to it. Quick, easy, and one of the best little maintenance jobs you can do yourself. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know this kind of content's worth making. Got questions or your own MAF cleaning tips? Drop them in the comments below. I read everyone. And if you want more straightforward, real-world car advice, from DIY maintenance to smart ownership tips, make sure you subscribe to MotorMinds and check out the other videos on the channel. Because at the end of the day, your car doesn't need hype. It just needs a little understanding. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.